saw me, I was just there. But now I understand. I'm like, oh, okay. So I get it. I get it. So it's going to be a way much better season for me this season. That's what so many people say that I've talked to. Like for you really, a lot of people say after the first season, like I didn't really know what to expect. I was like a deer in headlights. And then you're like, now I know how to play the game. Right. Like it's not even a game. It's really is like sometimes you get there, you drink, and then somebody's talking to you. You're just like, I'm drunk, you know, but it's okay to get drunk but you still need to be aware because why get drunk? You have to be able to communicate to your friend, not just staring at them like, I'm drunk, I don't wanna have a conversation. So now I'm learning, you know? So don't just, you can get drunk and have fun, but don't just freeze, you know, find the camera, talk, engage. Do you have a high, like, was there something that stuck out as positive? Like, what's your favorite thing that, about yourself or season four, the season that already happened? Is there something that you really enjoyed? Um, uh, from season four, I enjoyed the Hampton trip. For me, I feel like the Hampton was like the highlight of the whole season. It was just fun. We all were in the same house. It was not like, oh, this is different little um, um, hotels room. No, it was like we all get up breakfast together on one table, dinner together. So it kind of bring us closer. I think the Hampton, the trip was the highlight of the, of the season for me, at least. What about a low? Just like something that you don't, you just want to forget. I don't understand. I'm sorry. Like something that was just like the opposite of a high, like a negative where you're just like, this was the worst part of the season. Um, the worst part of the season. For me, the worst part of the season was the whole conversation with about Kanye's dick. It was just annoying. And then again, like, I'm so new. I'm sitting here like, are we really talking about dick? Like, and I talk about dicks all the time. But there is someone here that talks more about dicks than me and she's older. Oh, my God, Adriana's crazy. Like, it was just like, we had a public restaurant. We're supposed to be here looking for a man for me. And we are sitting here talking about Kanye's West thing. So I understand Lars's part that, the whole thing that happened. She didn't want to talk about it because at the end of the day, these were her friends. Her kids still are still friends with these people, with this family. So when you're bringing these things up, we on the show, you don't know how it's going to come out. At the end of the day, she's sitting with us. They're going to think she was part of that whole conversation, but she really didn't want to have it. And Adriana kept pushing and pushing and pushing. And it was like, can you just give it up? Let's just stop talking about dicks. Like, like okay, you saw, you saw Kanye's dick, like, let it go. So I was very annoyed. That's why I went and like, I, I mean, I said so much, but obviously nothing like these things didn't really get, you know, get on. But I was pissed. I was really, really, really annoyed. Why do you think Adriana is so obsessed with like Larsa's past with the Kardashians? No, that's a question we should ask Adriana, right? We should invite Adriana on this. No, like, why is she so upset with her? Obsessed with her? That's a question I would love to know too, because the whole time, like, Lars is but, Lars is this, Lars is that. I don't know why, because it, it's it's nine of us, you know? She could pick anybody else. Why Larsa? She kind of came for Larsa. She, she's still coming for Larsa. <laughs> I heard, I heard that the new season, there is a lot that she still is coming for Larsa. She just is. Well, her... It's going to be an amazing season. Is it? Everybody bought it. Everyone. How do you think the new season coming up is, was, is different than the last season? I feel like we are closer this time. We were close last season. You're going to see we are way closer as a group in general. And then I think we all kind of got to know each other a bit more because some of us were really, really good friends and some of us were kind of like new friends or people that we hang out with but was not really that tight. But um, this time, I feel like all of us, we like, it's like a whole connection. It's like when we all together, we all together. But then when it just, everybody's like, Whew. Oh, it's, it's, it's a lot. Was there one person who kind of shocked you the most of, for this upcoming season that just kind of was like, whoa, where did this all come from? 
Um, of course, Adriana. <laughs> Adriana. Adriana. She's she never disappoints. <laughs> do you yeah. think that? Well, do you think you know? Because like there was a lot of talk when it first came back. Because Adriana and Marisol, you know, we we know them from the past, and they were they're friends. They're not full time housewives. Like, do you think Adriana is? gunning for that full-time status I, mean, I feel like at the end of the day most well me to be honest with you i'm totally fine where i am because i'm like i'm still young i have the platform i'm i'm happy i'm just happy to be with my friends and whatever and i'm the type of person that believe what god have in store for you you don't rush it sometimes it starts slow you know so i'm i'm totally comfortable if if Tomorrow I wake up and they're like, oh, Kiki, you you a housewife. I'll be like, oh, great. This is what, this is the path for me. But if it takes me another few years to be a friend, I'm totally okay with it because I know no matter what, what's for me is going to happen, you know? So I'm enjoying, I'm just enjoying being with all the ladies and just have fun. For me, it's fun. Like the whole show, it's fun for me. So, um, I'm just enjoying it. But to be honest, I think Marisol is also okay with being a friend even last season. I think she's fine. Um, but Adriana, I think, is more like she's like gunning. Like she, 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 you know, but sometimes you just have to do what you have to do, deal with it. And then if God wants to place you higher or lower, like let God decide. Just enjoy the moment. And that's exactly what I'm doing. That's such a good attitude. And to your point, when you say sometimes it takes longer, I mean, it took Miss Marlo Hampton 10 years to get her peach on Atlanta. So only 10 years. I thought it was like 13 years. No, Just 10. Oh, wow. See, there's always hope. This is a way to look at it. Like, but maybe for Marlo, her end goal was maybe Marlo just took it how it is and say it's going to happen when it needs to happen, you know, and that's how I'm just looking at it. Like, I don't care. I know some people say, oh, we want Kiki to be a man wife. And I appreciate everyone. I appreciate all my friends. And I love all the love and support. But at the end of the day, only God knows when I'm ready for whatever it is. You know, I'm in this position for a reason. And I'm just going to enjoy it. What else can I do but to have fun? Is so. that the main thing that was different for you in this next season? Because you said, like, in the first season, did you feel like you were just drinking and drunk and didn't really, I and mean, listen, we've all been there. I get it. When I get really, <laughs> I'm the type, like I'm a quiet, like I'm not quiet, but then I am quiet. Like when I really get drunk, I don't say anything. I'm so in my own head. Is that the difference? Like in the first season, you really just felt like you were drunk all the See, time. The thing were... is with me with the first season and even in the second season too, like I'm a funny, a lot of people don't know this about me. If you're looking at my photos on Instagram, you're going to say, Oh, Kiki always have like a resting bitch.